Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul. I picked some things up from the thrift store and I also had a little splurge in Primark yesterday and I'm really excited to share it with you. Let's jump right in. So one of the first items that I've picked up at the thrift store was this very very sweet sleeveless and completely sheer top shop shirt and as you can see it is super duper long which I think will just look great paired with some leggings or like ev even over jeans it's got a nice little collar so it is quite smart and it just buttons up at the front it's got that high low thing going on at the back this was three pounds and I am absolutely chuffed with it the next item I picked up is actually also Topshop which isn't intentional I don't go out with the like plan to buy all the well-known brands or like brands that I think are cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I didn't want to pass this up. It's such a great colour. It's that burgundy sort of red purple. And this one is again really super duper long. It's a midi dress with long sleeves. And I just thought, wow, what a steal for the fall. This is gonna be awesome. This was £3.50. It is a jersey material, it's not very thick, and I do think it might be a bit sheer, but I can definitely team this up with like a cute leather jacket and scarf. Yeah, I'm just really excited to test the waters, see how I go with a midi dress, because I've actually never owned one before, because I'm super short, I don't think they suit me very well, so I'm gonna have to Google how to style this, but this colour, oh. <laughs> The next item I picked up is actually a brand from Ireland called Dunstores and I've never seen anything Dunstores related here in England so I'm not quite sure whether someone's like had these and brought them over here or if Dunstores send their like surplus stock or like old stock to uh, thrift stores. These were brand new and they look so nice. It's like a pair of smart tailored trousers. They kind of tapered at the end. I have rolled these up, but they look cool either way. And they have this great sort of uh, diamondy pattern the whole way over it. And again, this kind of red burgundy color with the black accents. So nice for fall. And they have pockets. Oh, love a good pocket. <laughs> These trousers were only one pound, which is insane. I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. I haven't quite decided if I want to make them work wear or if I should try and integrate them into my casual wear wardrobe. They're a bit more sort of formal and straight laced than my normal casual clothing for the weekend, but they're so pretty and they're a lovely material. The last item I picked up in my local thrift shop is extremely formal and I don't know really what I was thinking because I don't go to many formal occasions, I don't have many friends that are getting married at the moment, <laughs> but I picked it up anyway. Maybe you guys won't think this is formal at all, I don't know, but <laughs> it's this lovely black dress, very cute, not too long with pleats. I think it'll come down to about my knees. This is actually ASOS and from what I can tell it is brand new, like it doesn't look washed, it smells clean and new, it's beautiful material, it's all lined inside. I don't know how well the black's going to pick up in the camera but you know. I've got this great v-neck detailing along with the pleats, oh look at those pleats. It's so smart that I don't think I could get away with wearing it to work or anything like that, but oh, it's just really lovely. Definitely make good winter dress. It's quite heavy, quite thick material. And this cost me a whole three pounds, so I couldn't leave it behind. I nipped into Primark for literally like 10 minutes yesterday and I didn't get to see everything I wanted to see, but I still managed to spend a lot of money. A lot by my standards, anyway. These were actually the last thing I picked up in Primark as they were at the till and they were really, really tempting because they're only one pound for 2040 lights, 
and I thought that was a steal. These are scented tea lights, they're sea salt and lavender and I've actually opened them, I'm burning one of them right now and it smells incredible, it smells really lovely. It's not an extremely strong scent coming off the candle but in the packet, oh, oh my goodness, these are divine. Ooh. You can really, really smell both those things in this. this. They're super duper nice. I do reckon you'd have to burn like a couple to get a really strong scent off them though. But what a bargain. I had a little wonder around the shoe section and managed to pick up two pairs. The first pair are these gorgeous rose gold pumps. I was in desperate need of a new pair of sneakers and these were just ideal. They're obviously not very sturdy pumps. They did only cost me eight pounds, so I don't expect them to be very long lasting in the winter. I thought I'd try and get autumn out of them anyway, and yeah, for eight pounds, I can't really complain about that. Can you see just how lovely a colour they are? Even though I work in central London, I don't tend to get to like the big pre-mark on like Tottenham Court Road. I haven't seen like hardly any of the summer stock, I just like, it went straight over my head. So. I'm assuming that these little pumps were summer stock because they were actually in the seal. They cost me a whole, oh yeah, they are actually marked at four pounds down from eight, but they actually only cost me three pounds whenever I got to the till. It's a total, total bargain. They're just lovely. I do think I'm gonna try and use these for work. They just have a little lace up, kind of like this, a bit crisscrossy, and then a very long set of shoelaces which I guess you tie and twist up your ankle. I tried these on yesterday and they are the softest things inside. They are so comfortable. And I thought this was a really interesting colour and they actually had a couple of other colours in them and I kind of regret not picking those up too because they had size threes in every colour and that never happens. I might head back and see if I can get some more at some point. Although I'm not quite ready to give up summer just yet, Primark do have winter style kai and I just had to have a little look at the hats and I actually picked up two hats but one is for my fiance and not for me which is this little mustard colour one. This did come from the lady section but it fits him and it looks good so you know what you gonna do. This was only two pounds and even if he only wears it a few times this year, I still think that's money well spent. And the other little hat I picked up was also only two pounds, but I'm way more excited about it because it's for me. Because I'm a horrible person that way. It has this awesome pom-pom and is really stretchy. I don't have a really tiny head, but it's a, like a, again, like a military green, that really dark, dark green. Heck, where are you gonna get a hat like this for two pounds? It's really cool. So this item is, once again, a little bit out of my comfort zone. Like I was saying earlier, I've never had a midi dress before, and this, I, I don't quite know if this is meant to be a midi dress, but it reaches my ankles. It's this gorgeous, stripy shirt with tiny little turn up sleeves, and it just goes on and on and on forever. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit sheer, so I don't know whether I'll have to wear some leggings under it or something like that, but it splits just about here. Also has a cute little waist tie belt. They had so many nice maxi dresses in stock yesterday and I could have had each and every single one, but I do think this colour pattern was my favourite. This cost me £13 and I am so happy with it, I don't even mind, even though I do think that's quite pricey for Primark. Um, this is size 6 and I'm normally between a 6 and an 8 and this fits me absolutely perfect so I maybe would suggest going down a size if you do see this. And the last item in my haul today is something adorable. It's actually a gift for someone. I feel kind of weird showing you but I don't think she's gonna mind. Maybe she will. Maybe she'll be really mad. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, let's find out. One of my best friends is currently pregnant and I'm very excited for her and I keep on buying these gifts and then I'm like, oh geez, like, it's too much. The baby isn't even born yet and I have like 
the next three years worth of gifts planned out. <laughs> but these are some little bath finger puppets. How cute is that? They are Disney themed of course with Mickey, Minnie, uh, Daisy Donald and little old Pluto on the end <laughs> with his big massive ears. They're just really lovely. I don't know how easy it is to bath a baby because it's not something I do very often but if these make it easier, which I hope they will, or at least make it fun, then it's money well spent. <laughs> they were only £3.50 and they are like proper Disney branded. I hope she likes them. Look at Donald's little hat with the little tassely bit. That is everything in this collective haul. I really hope you enjoyed it and have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hiya! It's just nice. <laughs> so Primark do ow <laughs> that was the tat. Oh my god, I think I can hear a mouse. This is the joys of living in London. Everywhere has mice. Even your top story flat.